All right. Good afternoon, everybody. I read a horror story on Facebook, and I wanted to just give my opinion on what I read. It's a story that took place in... I didn't say where it took place, but it says that there was a, a young man. He, he uh, was a uh, gear cotton, and he lived his whole life for him. And I guess he moved to a new community or something. And they told him, I guess the rub of the community said, well, we have to ask a Pesach if this Geiris is good enough for our community, if this conversion is good enough. And they asked apparently a famous Pesach uh, who said because that this rabbi who did the original Geiris, that he was too modern, nonetheless modern Orthodox, uh, that the Geiris was no good. And you have to do it again. And the question was, nobody was questioning, and the one asking the question wasn't questioning this posek, which they should, because it's ridiculous. Uh, and, and I would put the word posek in, in quotes. For those who don't know what posek means, someone whose opinion in Jewish law is considered to be, uh, I, I guess the way that we would express it is, it, it's considered to be, Authoritative. I guess that would be the best way to to uh, say that. So this apparently famous posek, they won't say the name, said that this guy, his, and, they, and they wouldn't say who the first rabbi was with the conversion, that uh, because the first rabbi was a little bit too modern, but he was nonetheless orthodox, the conversion was not kosher, and you have to do it again. And the question was... Uh, how long does this guy have to wait to make another conversion? And and uh, you know, can can it be done right away? And I'm just so upset and shocked by this story because this posik doesn't know shulchan aruch. He doesn't know basic halachas. The Laws of conversion are one of the most simple laws that we have in Judaism. And it's probably the only one that I can think of where it's verbatim, and I've said this many times, from the Talmud to Maimonides to the Code of Jewish Law, from the Gemara to the Rambam to the Shulchan Aruch, it's all at least 95% verbatim. And if anything, the Shulchan Aruch is a little bit more lenient than the Rambam. Uh, which is not that common. And yet, you have some Achronim who come up with some kind of Chiddush that's a Das Yochid, like the Beis David, who said that somehow you can... that goes totally against what the Shulchan Aruch says, saying that, you know, you can pretty much you can nullify, retroactively nullify a conversion, which is nonsense. It, 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 it goes totally against halacha to say such nonsense. What, what does my wife want me to do here? So, hmm, she must have been in a rush to get in the house. So anyway, It, it upsets me, this story, because it's so nonsensical. And the fact that there's even a hava aminus, even an idea that maybe this guy should have to wait a year now after he's been from his whole life before he makes another geiris or something, before he makes a gear l'chumrah. It's nonsense. If this rabbi, this posek, feels that he's so much better than this other rabbi just because he happens to wear, maybe the other rabbi wears a knitted yarmulke, even though he's a Shemr Shabbos and a Talmud Chochem, and he's going to go and passel the geiris that, that this other rabbi did. He's going to nullify, he's going to declare that this conversion is, is invalid. So your responsibility, Mr. Posek, is, Rabbi Posek, Rabbi Famous Posek, 
is to convene a Besden this very moment and dunk this kid or this younger man, whoever it is, in the mikveh, and that's it. It's over. Because there's no question, well, maybe he's not really Jewish. There's, uh, you know, there's only a question that, oh, maybe we're, we want to be strict. He should go to the mikveh again. No one can say that he could, this guy, that this guy can now go eat a, a cheeseburger, a bacon cheeseburger. If that posek would say such a thing, it would be just nonsense. But I've seen it. I've seen people do this. I've seen where I did a garris, and the Rosh Hashiva goes and tells the guy that I did a gear l'chomer on only because he claims his mother was Jewish, but we're not really sure if that's really true. So he made a gear l'chomer, and I was miyayitz with the Chosh of Arav before I made the gear l'chomer. And the Rosh Hashiva went and said, Oh, Shloima, we want you to be a Shabbos guy. You know, it doesn't work that way. And this guy was a Rosh Hashiva. He lost his job as Rosh Hashiva. That's a different story, but maybe it's connected. This is what's going on in this world. Such nonsense, such amaratsis by people called famous poskim could say something so stupid, and then you're going to say that stupid and then make the guy wait? That's Inoy Adin. That that's that that's a corruption of justice. So if you really feel that there's such an issue with this conversion, or even if there really was an issue, and this guy's been from his whole life, and but but he, he converted with a conservative rabbi. So so put him in the mikvah right now. What are you waiting for? Why is this even a question? I'm sorry. This would never happen in our communities. I heard it happen in Bells. But they put the guy in the mikveh right away because he's going to the mikveh every day anyway. But in Satmar, maybe they would say maybe it would have been better not to do this gayrus. But now it's done. It's done. The guy's Jewish. And that's that's it. You, it, it, it there's no going back. There's no postling a gayrus because because I, I sat on the Besden. With with a Satmar dying and a and a Mizrahi rabbi with an idiomica. Where's your Havas Yisrael? That you're gonna think you're gonna go and say, you know, cause cause your yarmulke is le is is uh, is 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 wie soll ich heißt, uh, Samet. It's uh, velvet and his is knitted. Oh, so you're you're a real rabbi and he's not. What kind of nonsense is that? And you don't need to be a rabbi to do a geras. The, the halacha is gimel had yotis. And I hear, and it goes the other way around too. You hear the modern people say, oh, the charedah shel geras is not good enough. And you have to go through the RCA. That's also nonsense. This is not how any of this is supposed to work. And all this idea, oh, we have to have a unified this standard, and this is that. No, you don't. You know what the unified standard is? Shulchan Aruch. You say in front of the Bezdin, the Makabal Mitzvahs, Dvarim Shabalei Venim Dvarim. We don't know. You, you can't read somebody's mind. All right, you're talking to Ger Katan. Ger Katan is Zachan Ladim Shalai Bafanov. And the guy, if he was raised, he went to he went to yeshiva his whole life, he went to day school, whatever it is. So so uh, uh, according to the Machmirim, According to Rabbi Meishu, who says that Zacham Leiladim means that it has to talk of be a schus, and it's not a schus if he's not being raised from, so he at least has to learn, even if it's not a from home, but at least he's going to yeshiva, it's good enough. That's already a chumra. But you see, this guy's from, and they're, and they're making him go through this nonsense? What kind of world is this? It's a chil Hashem. It's not how Torah works. Sorry, I'm so upset, but we, uh, it, 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 we have to uh, uh, we have to, we have to call out Tzedek Tzedek Tirdayf. This is this, you know Tzedek Tzedek Tirdayf doesn't mean all the nonsense the reform leftist woke people wanted to mean Tikkun Olam this and that. It means Taka Tzedek Taka Din. This is Ino Din Ivesa Din. You can't do this. We got to do it the right way. We got to do things the right way and treat people with respect.
Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment. See you later.